this is your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. I want to discuss fear of intimacy with you. The individual who has a fearful avoidant uh, personality, the person who really craves affection, really craves intimacy, however is extremely afraid to attract this into their life. They're afraid of getting close, they're afraid of someone getting to know them, they're absolutely petrified so they don't even make a move. They basically are stagnant, uh, petrified, unable to move towards their desire even though they desire intimacy, love, devotion, the good life, right? You know, walking along the seashore with your lover hand in hand, you know, rolling around on the ground, whatever it is your, your goal and objective is. However, some people truly fear intimacy and sometimes this can occur, especially after ex experiencing a really rough uh, relationship. Maybe you are with the wrong type of person. And I think that's what has to be a huge determinant in looking and sorting these situations out. Because if oftentimes we find that the, the person, uh, people who have fearful uh, avoidance uh, personality characteristics uh, something generally has happened to them in their childhood, which is traumatic, which is a violation of sorts. And if they can't recall it, chances are it's repressed or they're not interpreting the situation as a violation. So um, if you are yourself feeling that way, that you're maybe not emotionally available, <coughs> or you're you're wanting a relationship, you're wanting intimacy, you're wanting that life partner, but you're afraid, really look at what are some of the underlying causes of this. You know, what's holding you back? Is it money? Is it fear of in, in, uh, intimacy? Is it, um, you know, your inability to trust yourself? Is it your inability to trust others? You have to really look at what's holding you back. Basically, you know, a law of, um, negative beliefs is holding you back from experiencing that and letting that into your, your life. And remember, fear stands for false evidence appearing real. So chances are what you've blown up in your mind to be this huge deterrent, this huge uh, impairment, this huge impediment to holding you back is nothing at all. In fact, a lot of people, once they realize that, once they take that step, once they take that leap and they move into the relationship slowly, um, as you should properly and it is good to kind of realize you know think about beforehand what you want in a relationship so you know what you're going after and you can articulate that so you know you've hit it when you found it um, but what most people find that once they start taking those steps forward and they begin to let somebody in and they say yes this person is the kind of material that I would like to make my life partner you might have to go, you know, as they say, you know, kiss a lot of frogs before you meet the prince. Or you might have to, you know, kiss a lot of frogs before you meet your princess. However, it's worth finding who you would deem worthy with the qualities and the standards that you seek in a partner. And I think once you can articulate that and say, you know what, this is a quality person, this is uh who I would be comfortable with and kind of knowing that versus i.e. the abusive, violent, bad boy, bad girl type. It's no longer working out for you. It's no longer fitting you, your personality. So once you kind of realize that and acknowledge that, it, it makes moving forward into um, embracing a true love relationship and intimacy moving forward. It can be done. You can trust yourself. You can take those steps. Just take it slow and be sure to articulate your ideal partner and make sure you have those qualities within yourself first. Peace and harmony with you here today. I hope these videos help. Please do share and please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support.